Let's transform this white PS5 into this beautiful matte black PS5 with the air vents on the side. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to remove the old faceplate and installing this beautiful black faceplate. Now this faceplate is by Dolby Wing D Lao. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but I will link this in the description box below. So make sure you guys check that out. I will be linking both the digital edition and the disc version as well. And what I like about this faceplate out of many others is that this comes with an opening for the air vent and also has a dust filter as well. So this is something important for me if I'm gonna have extra airflow, I wanna make sure the actual fans have a dust filter as well. So taking a look at the actual faceplate, it's a really beautiful matte black faceplate as you can see here. And you can see the openings for the fan here. It's gonna allow for some decent amount of airflow. All right, so let's open up the other side of the faceplate here. Now this one's gonna be labeled with the letter B for the back side. And this faceplate feels really nice and sturdy, very high quality. And I'm gonna give you a nice close-up of the fan opening here. You can definitely see all that airflow coming in. I'm really excited about that. And inside we get two dust filters. Now this is gonna be completely optional of whether or not you want to install this. I highly recommend it since it will prevent a lot of dust from entering the fan. So I would definitely put it on. Now, before we remove the actual faceplate, we wanna first remove any type of mounts, whether it's horizontally or vertically, you wanna just remove the mount first. And then we're gonna lay the PS5 down horizontally with the PlayStation logo facing up front. And then we're gonna apply pressure on the logo. We're gonna push up and left, and it should come off very easily. Now, taking a look at the faceplate here, this is gonna be labeled B. Now, it's gonna be for the back side. So I'm gonna grab the other one, which should be the right side for the PS logo side. Now that we know which side is which, it's time to install the actual dust filter on the faceplate itself. And removing the sticker here, we have a small ring of adhesive here. Now this is gonna be directly installed on the actual faceplate on the inside. And this is gonna help block any of the dust coming inside of those vents. And this is gonna be really important, especially since you have that extra airflow. I think it's gonna be a lot easier to keep it clean. And once we have it installed, we're just gonna basically line up the faceplate with the PS5. And you wanna make sure you apply pressure downward and to the right, and you should hear a couple of snaps. And once you hear a really nice hard click, that's how you know it has been successfully installed. And it already looks fantastic. It looks absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and install the other side here. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit quicker. I'm going to remove the faceplate here. Um, and again, we're gonna install the actual dust filter here. Thankfully, installing the dust filter is actually very easy and simple, and it should also come out very easy as well. Once we have it lined up, now we're going to flip it over and make sure we line up the other side of the faceplate, snap it in, and that's pretty much it. We have the PS5 in a nice matte black finish. I mean, what do you guys think of this matte black I think it looks absolutely fire. It looks absolutely stunning. And I'm loving how it has the air vents on the side. It just looks absolutely beautiful. And it provides extra airflow to the PS5. And that's always gonna be a good thing. Now I have Modern Warfare running in the background here. And I can definitely confirm that there is a decent amount of airflow going inside by placing my hand next to the vent here. Now, how much this will improve the PS5 internal temperature, I'm not 100% sure, but any little bit of airflow will definitely help in my opinion. And I think this black looks absolutely stunning. It looks fire and it adds functionality. Now we'll be installing RGB lights, so stay tuned for that. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching guys.